What's up guys, this is Val with How To's by Bros, and today I'm going to show you how to uh, shoot a jump shot perfectly. So with shooting a jump shot perfectly, I always, I always practice my jump shot, even though I'm not going to be jumping, on the free throw line, because it's the way to, to really get the perfect form, and it's all about um, muscle memory. So just to get that perfect form, that perfect push off your legs, and the perfect extension, and your perfect form and extension all the way through. So what you want to do is, uh, if you're a righty, you're gonna sh your, your front foot is gonna be your right. So even when you're dribbling, your your front foot's always gonna be in the right. <laughs> and then for lefties, the same. Your your front foot's gonna be your left, and you're gonna shoot like that. But I'm a righty, so I'm gonna show you from the right side. Just if you're a lefty, just uh, uh, kind of think the opposite. All right. So again, from the free throw line, <laughs> this is how how you first practice. Uh, you can start closer, however you want. You can start even from if, if your court has has these hash marks for the for the free throw line. Uh, you can start the first uh, hash mark and just dribble. Take two dribbles because in a game you're going to be dribbling uh, most of the time. But you're going to dribble, and you don't you don't want to uh, jump uh, right from the beginning. You want to get that that nice push off your. Uh, from your knees, from your from your feet all the way through your legs to get that uh, perfect form that you want and the perfect extension and follow through. So that, that's what you're working on first, is just getting that, that muscle memory of, of pushing all the way through your legs. You don't want to go too low. You want to stay in an athletic position and uh, push through from your feet, uh, from your toes, all the way through your legs to generate that power and all the way through. So starting from the first hash, you want to do that. Now notice how my my so my my left hand for my right my my right hand shooters is just my guide. It's on the side of the ball right here. See where this line is? You want your hand right there so that your 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 middle finger is right there in the in the middle of that that line. Then then your 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 shooting hand is going to be right in the middle of the ball. If you have any lettering or anything, you can put your hand, like mine's a uh, Spalding ball. I'm gonna put my hand right on the Spalding label and that's where my, my, my shooting hand is gonna be. And you want this, you want this like rotation, kind of like that where the, the, these lines right here, I'm going backwards. So it should look like that. And when you push all the way through, um, for me, the, the best form is your elbow right in front with with uh, the, uh, with your left your right elbow in front your left elbow kind of to the side remember you're not you're not using both hands when you're shooting you're just using this as a guide so when you're shooting you're actually just pushing you're you're flattening your hand and you're pushing with with uh, your shooting hand so it's kind of like you're just pushing it off you're pushing it off your 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 hand see how I'm not using my left hand cuz if if you use your your guide hand the ball will, will not go where you want it to go. Just trust me. Just push it, push it. So then, when you when you put it all together, you're need, you're making sure the most important part is your legs, because you're not you're not you're not gonna you're not gonna just chuck it up with your arms. Because remember, your hands are just for the shooting, and your left hand is just for the guy your your guide hand. So you're really using you're really shooting with your legs. Not, not, jump, not going down too low again, but a nice athletic position and going all the way through. And I, I, do, a, I do a little game. I start from the first hash and I'll, I'll really emphasize on my pushing through my legs. So pushing through my legs all the way through to the follow through. And you wanna try to get, uh, you wanna try to get five, five in in a row. If you can get five in in a row, then you go to the next hash. So you go up. So five in a row, then then you can then you can put a little jump into it. If you're if you're a little bit younger, if you if you're a little older, continue con continue on that that same little practice. Just now now you're gonna use your legs even more, keeping a good posture with your back, not slouching over, but nice athletic position. See how I'm balanced with my feet, everything, all the way through. <laughs> so 
So again, same thing, you take a couple of dribbles, all the way through, follow through, just like that. So then you make you make five in a row here. You have to do it until you get five, five in a row. If you miss, just keep doing it. You want to practice as much as possible. You want to get that muscle memory down as much as possible. So then you do five here, then five from the free throw line, and then this is where um, you don't have to go all the way to the three point line, but you can go like right around here, like mid range area. Now you're gonna do you're gonna you're gonna jump with it. So the jump shot. So take a, take a couple dribbles, whichever hand you can you can play around a little bit. Then you're gonna get into your nice balance, uh, nice balance for, form with your with your hands all the way through, using your legs for the most part. So you dribble, jump shot. Now when when uh. When you're doing it, you don't want to jump too high. You don't want to, again, you're not, you're not trying to jump out of the gym. You're just, you're just gonna, just for uh, a little bit more power, a little bit more uh, precision, you're just jumping a little bit. So, and notice how my hands are always in the middle. Obviously in the game, you, you, your hands are gonna be in other places, but you want to try to get your hands to, show, to about your chest. Right in, right in the middle of your body. So when you're going up, fall through. So you're able to see where you want to shoot it, all that. So then the jump shot. And that's how you take a jump shot perfectly. If you have any more questions, please comment down below. Uh, if you have any other how-tos, again, comment down below. Love you guys. Thanks for watching the video. Please click the link in the description for uh, this basketball right here. It's a Spalding NBA basketball, indoor and outdoor. I prefer, I, I prefer indoor and outdoor because, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to just be practicing inside. I'm going to be going to the park. Um, yeah, so this is, this is an awesome ball for any time, uh, day or night, whatever you want to do. You want to go outside. You want to stay inside. So, yeah. Uh, Spalding indoor outdoor NBA. Uh, we do get a small commission for it, but um, yeah, you guys, just please go and get this ball. It's an amazing ball, uh, my favorite. Here's a. I'm not gonna really get into this one. Uh, I'm still kind of trying to learn it, try to um, study it a little bit more. So check this out. It's in Romans 10, verse 10. For with the heart one believes and is justified, and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. Think about that, guys. I love you guys so much. Check us out.